All right, guys, so I am just the creator. I am here today with one of my absolute best friends, Mr. Blake Salins from Real Talk Power Sports on YouTube. And uh, this is the very first episode of something that we are hoping turns into something really, really cool uh, for everyone. We hope you like it. We hope you tune in. So it's going to be a real simple video series. We're going to ride around in side-by-sides, and I'm going to interview whoever is in here next to me. And it's going to be called Talking Side-by-Side. Blake, thank you for uh, allowing me to do this, and you be my guinea pig. <laughs> yeah, anytime, buddy. Uh, a lot of pressure because uh, right now we're on our first day of the CFO takeover event. I'm having to lead a big group ride right now, so uh, hopefully the interview goes well. I have no idea what you're about to ask me, so it'll yeah, be fun. Yeah, I haven't given them any of the questions. This is, you know, we just want you, we just want you to get to know get to know people a little bit better. We're gonna kick it off, Blake. My first question to you is, how do you keep a balance between your passion for off roading and your role as a spiritual leader and a family man with a wife and three kids? Wow. That's a good question, brother. That's a good, that's a good and deep question. Well, so right off the bat, for those of you that don't know, I love the off-road, but also, man, you're, you're right. I, I really didn't expect you to ask a question like this, but I love my family. I have a beautiful wife. I have three beautiful children. Very thankful for them. I also am active in my church, and I love the Lord, man, and uh, just thankful for all he's done in my life and blessed me with. And in order to keep a balance of this, yeah, the off-road world can really, you know, your hobbies sometimes can really consume you, take up a lot of time. And what I try to do is make sure that I involve my family and involve the Lord in every aspect of my life. In order to keep a balance is to keep, keep all those things involved with each other just like this mud is really involved in this interview right now you know you just gotta mix it all together but but for real though like i love my family and i don't want to take time you know sometimes what i do does involve me being away from my family yep. as much as i can i try to involve my family in what i do like they'll right. be out here with us tomorrow and uh we'll get to be together and then also i try to shove what I believe down anybody's throat. You know, I'm an open book, and if, if the door opens for me to share with somebody, then that's what I'm going to do, you know. Uh, never force anything at all. Yep. And you've been, uh, you know, you've played a major part of that in my life as well, as far as, you know, kind of bringing me back and, you know, baptizing me and then, you know, getting to baptize my wife. Uh, that was awesome. And uh, so, you know, we are we are extremely thankful that the Lord crossed our paths and that, you know, we know you and that, you know, you've become one of my best friends. I mean, we talk almost every single day. So, yeah. Yeah. OK. Question number two. How do you think social media and channels like Real Talk Power Sports have influenced the off road community and the way people share their adventures? And these are good questions. <laughs> it's because I had my wife do them. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Now I get it. No, for real. Hey, ask it one more time. Okay, I want to really so, grasp it. So how do you think social media and channels like yours, Real Talk Power Sport, have influenced the off-road community and the way people share their adventure? Oh, man. I, well, first off, I hope that I'm creating a – a digital environment, if you will, for people to see that, man, you can do this sport, this power sports off-road world with your family. So I hope right. I'm creating and impacting the off-road world through social media in a positive way that gets people and their family doing something like this together. You know, right. so that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I'm using this platform to do that and there's several other people that are doing that like your channel and julian and yep. there's several other there's some awesome influencers out there that i believe are doing a great job using this platform to impact people in a very positive way we hold on we've got a problem uh got a lot of people behind us and we got people coming at us i don't know right. if the cameras can see that we'll see yeah okay all right we've made it we made it. <laughs> Question number three. What? Is, 
Oh. oh. We tried to jump out of gear there. Yep. Shifter linkage adjustment. What initially drew you off-roading, and how has your passion for it evolved? Oh, my dad is the one that got me into off-road. Uh, he grew up uh, when he was in junior high and high school. He was going around and racing three-wheelers on motocross tracks. Right. But then it evolved into he traded his Tri-Z 250 in with somebody and got a a Yamaha YZ125 dirt bike. He started racing dirt bikes on motocross. He's raced at uh, the Superdome in Louisiana. He's raced in the Georgia Dome, the Coliseum in Mississippi, Meridian, Mississippi, all over, all over the place in the South. And so he got me involved at a young age. He got me on a dirt bike. My first four wheeler was actually a, it was, it was really big for me back then, but it was a Polaris Scrambler 400 two stroke. 99 model or 2000, I think. White that was with my the first. Seat. Yeah, white yeah. with the red seat, <laughs> yellow and red uh, stickers. Yeah. And dude, we put some hole shots on that thing and dropped the suspension and took it motocross on a motocross track. That's awesome. pretty cool. So that's what got me involved in it, just riding with my dad, going to the track and ripping trails together. Ever since, man, I've been hooked. Like this is, you know, I played college football. I played college tennis. Sports have been a big part of my life, but off-road has always been there. So, yeah, it's growing. It's something I'm, I got my kids doing at a really young age. So with being able to do this with my family is so cool. Right. Uh, I love that my family, my wife, my kids love this off-road atmosphere as much as I do. So, right. yeah, as long as they love it, my passion's going to keep growing for it. Here's, a, here's an easier one for you. Oh, sweet, what's your, good. What's your favorite modification or upgrade to your units? Tires. Tires, without hesitation. And wheels, but, yeah. yeah, tires. What's your favorite part about being on the trail? Oh, man. I know for it's, me it's the freedom. Yeah. I, while I'm behind that wheel, I forget about everything else. That, that's, that was what I was just – the first word that came to my mind was I'm disconnected from everything else. And I can – now, yes, I do stress about filming while I'm riding, but there's several times now I've tried to say, Blake, cut the camera off and just enjoy it. And it allows me to unwind, uh, just get to be out here in nature – being out in the outdoors, not having to focus on anything else except for the challenge of the trail, right? A conquering terrain, and just being out here with family and friends and having a good time. So what has been your most challenging moment on the trails? What happened and how did you handle it? <laughs> I'm going to I would that say was that was recent. <laughs> Today's Talking Side by Side episode is brought to you by 3starutv.com. It's one of the leading manufacturers of windshields and enclosures in the industry. 3starutv.com has got you covered no matter your brand. From Arctic Cat to Yamaha, they do it all. They also manufacture a wide variety of products from hard doors to lower doors to tinted roofs to skid plates and so much more. Manufactured in the heart of the USA in Carlisle, Kentucky, everything is sourced and made right here. So whether you need a mesh enclosure for the summer to help keep out dust and debris, windshields or skid plates to keep you protected on the trail, or a full enclosure here at 3 Star UTV, got you covered. Yeah, that was very recent, actually. I've had a lot of challenging moments here recently. My trip to Royal Blue was the most challenging, trying to go up a trail called Pea Gravel Hill yeah. at Royal Blue. Well, not to mention it had rained and sleeted and freezing rain yes. and all that. Yeah, it was snowing and sleeting the night before. The conditions were terrible. Locals was telling us, hey, the conditions are worse than we've ever seen it up there. So if you go take on that trail right now and accomplish it, you've done something, you know. And we made it up the hardest part of it. And, man, I was stressed to the max. I ain't going to lie. I, I did make it up, and I was really excited about that. We, we did have somebody in our group that had an incident and rolled over. But thankfully, they were okay. We, we got everybody back down the hill. Everybody was able to drive their machine under their own power. So, But, yeah, that was probably one of the most challenging. Cadillac Hill in Windrock was real close. Of course, I've entered some mud races and some uh, bounty holes that were real challenging. Right. But as far as adrenaline and stress to the max, it was Pea Gravel Hill. Who's the coolest person? <laughs> That's Julie. <laughs> 
Who's the coolest person you've met in the industry? You. I had to throw that one in on purpose. Just oh, man. Thing. You have experience with all machines, dirt bikes, ATVs. What's your favorite to ride and why? That's a tough question. I think it depends on, because I love it all, dude. I recently was into some motocross. That was some of the most fun I've had in a long time off-road, was training to race motocross. That was so fun, man. It was so challenging. So are you maybe asking, like, if I had to pick only one? Yeah, what would you pick and stick with it? I think the side-by-side, because of the the versatility of a side-by-side, you can go more places, conquer more terrain, and the side-by-side safety and we're they just say, cruising right now they say with age comes a cage buddy right. yep 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 <laughs> but it's a close race it really is last question i have if your off-road life had a theme song what would it be <laughs> I, I gotta think about that oh man bad to the bone uh, I'm I'm drawing a blank right here because I love music and I love all kinds of different genres of music. Um, I may have to get back on that and maybe maybe that when be a you follow-up. post this, if you've stayed here this long for this video, look down the comment section and I will post in the comment section of this video my answer. Perfect. How about that? All right, first one done. Thank you, Man. brother. Yes. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, this is something new. We just thought it might be cool for you to learn a little bit about some people, and we wanted to try. Oh, this is our camera guy this weekend, Nathan, in the back, if you want to know who that was the whole time. But thank you guys so much. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. I don't know. you got to be a little crazy, I think. I wouldn't be out here right now riding to Mississippi. I right. wouldn't have met you. I wouldn't have met Blake. The first step towards not making it, is focusing on money. We're into technical terrain. We love rock crawling. We love hill climbs. I don't think I've seen a rock all weekend. We try to avoid all this mud and this terrain here. Should I be going this way? Okay, hold on. With that being said, I mean, I don't mind some mud. <laughs>